Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the mana source again. Um, I have renewed interest in this topic due to the quarterling threatening to sue him for false statements, which is always a fun thing to talk about. But beyond that, uh, the mana source has always been a very interesting individual. And the reason he's been so interesting to me is he shows the psychology and I've never heard of anyone quite like this, but nonetheless, yeah, it is incredibly interesting to see how someone can go and not have a job. Uh, the mana source, to my knowledge, has never had a held a job, a real job before, but still cr create, and he doesn't create content anymore, but live off fame. So before social media, I would say that the mana source as a personality type could never exist, right? Um, people were famous for being famous, but Kim Kardashian was kind of the most noble example. And that was the birth of social media, right? People are famous just because they're famous, not because they're actually talented at whatever they do. Now, one really interesting caveat I will make about the mana source is he is interesting because I think having a job for the mana source would actually severely improve his life. Uh, he would have to go to work every day. He would have to interact with people. Uh, when you only interact online, this is what I actually said on my other channel about Andrew Yang and Donald Trump. Uh, I'll use Donald as an example. When Donald tweets something, the majority of his followers are his fans, so they're going to like the tweet no matter what it is. So he gets this feedback which tells him, hmm, what I said was liked. Hmm, good. And he doesn't realize that the majority of people are not following him, and that's who he should be concerned about, the popular people. So if everyone loves you on your Twitter because that's why they follow you, then the feedback you will get will be overwhelmingly positive, even if you say something that should logically be negative and someone should tell you, hey, that's not a good idea. Void, void, bad idea. And that's what's happening with the mana source. The mana source is a very good example of social media destroying someone's life, uh, in particular Twitter. So Twitter is some, Twitter is fascinating in terms of you know, very few voices. Uh, most Twitter users are actually are fake. Let me give you the numbers on this. Uh, most Twitter followers are fake, by the way. And it's really funny that Wizard of the Coast um, is basing its voice on uh, Twitter. Um, let me give you numbers because otherwise you would think I was lying. I'm going to Twitter apocalypse. Inactive Twitter users could be set to lose their accounts. The social media behemoth is preparing a massive cull targeting users who have been dormant for more than six months, including those who died, because they haven't agreed to its updated private po privacy policies. Is the first time the site with 145 million monetized daily users has taken the decision to delete accounts on such a large scale. Millions are expected to be affected, starting with those outside the U.S., which makes sense because that's where uh, I should probably log into my Twitters, actually, <laughs> so I don't get deleted, uh, which would be good. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you are dealing with um, a scenario where a lot of the voices on Twitter are not actually helpful to you. They're kind of doing you a disservice. And the reason they're doing you a disservice is uh, very simple. They like you for being popular, right? But you're popular because they like you. It's a feedback mechanic that can end up in you being lazy and not having a job. I think there are plenty of things where, uh, to be quite frank, a job would gravely improve your life. Yeah, it sucks, but it's something to do. Um, studies have shown that in elderly people, people who have hobbies that they enjoy doing are mentally more uh, active and, and even physically more active and healthier than people who just watch TV and sit down every day. So when you talk about Magic the Gathering and you talk about its content creators, you do have a, I do have the sense, and I don't think it's the wrong sense, 
you have to understand that being lazy for laziness sake is not good for our society and it's not good for the individual. The best thing Wedge can do now is work retail, get a real job and work his way up. But the instant fame, the instant you know donations and that makes you unable to find a job because your job cannot, minimal wage job cannot pay as much as your donations are currently giving you. So you think you're too good. And this, I mean, you can read any Star City Games article 10 years ago. They, were, they had to deliver pizzas, right? And people like Todd Anderson uh, had a very interesting talk with his wife. And he didn't want to deliver pizzas anymore. He only wanted to play magic and make magic content. And, he, and magic content creators are extremely selfish individuals because they have been promoted. They have been set up this way by their subscribers. The other crazy part about all this um, comes down to base logic. If you never had a real job before, and or you don't currently have a real job and you're not looking and you have no interest in being employed, money has to come from somewhere. You're not getting a steady income every two weeks, therefore you have to generate money somewhere else, right? And there's only a few places money can come from. Um, it's not like money just falls from the sky and you pick it up. You can get money from the government, you can get food stamps, you can get housing help, or more likely... Uh, much more likely you are getting money from people who are working a job and donating to you. So the people donating to you very much, they probably have 40 hour a week jobs and they're not intentionally doing so, but they're making you weak. Eventually, if they abandon you, you're screwed because you didn't work on any skill set. And that's the same with any magic content creator you couldn't put any of that on your resume. You would be laughed out of the building. I mean, try to apply to a Fortune 500 company, and what have you been doing for the last 10 years, Tom Ross? Oh, I was a Magic the Gathering article writer. And oh, you know, I also had mental health issues. That Fortune 500 company is not gonna care. They just wanna make sure the people they hire can do the work. And that's it. Um, one of the best pieces of advice I ever gotten was, you know, don't, for marketing was you don't need to learn marketing. You just need to do it. You need to fall up and fall down and get up. So instead of like reading, there's so many marketing. So obviously I own a marketing agency. I tell my interns this all the time, but they never listen. Hey, you need to like do stuff. Even if the stuff you do is not great and you fail at it, at least you did something. You cannot continue to read articles. You cannot continue to... I mean, at some point in time, you, you cannot just continue to read about how to do something. You have to actually do it. And that's what m many millennials suffer. They suffer from this mental health issue where they want to be ready. They want to do something supposedly perfectly, but they, they are not going to do anything at all. I had one intern and for two months, he just read articles about how to make like a YouTube video and eventually I had to let her go and pick up a different intern because like it was just terrible. Um, it didn't make any sense. It's like, okay, so um, anyway, we pay our interns, not that it matters, but why am I paying you to read articles uh, from a competitor website? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I, you need to do something. You need to make a video. You need to take a first step. I mean, the Mana Source can't even, as of the recording of this video, he doesn't even have the moxie to make a video for his patrons. You don't, it doesn't even need to be a public video. It could just be a thank you video to his patrons or mailing, you know, mailing some of those extra doors that you promised people is a good step. Or asking your wife to mail the extra doors for you, that would also be a very good step. So, where we are today is quite sad in my opinion and I don't really know I, I don't really know how to say it having a job is not something negative people think of jobs as like horrendous things and only if we didn't have a job but it keeps you on ground it keeps you 
working, it gives you a purpose in life. Your purpose in life cannot be social media, right? That cannot be it. Your purpose in life is to make society better for the people around you and perhaps people not even around you. Um, yeah, I, I just find that it's kind of sad, but also very interesting from a psychology perspective that someone like the man of sorts can even exist in today's society not only exists like he's very successful he makes more money than the average american does so he is above average in terms of income he gets donated lots of things people love donating money to him and he doesn't produce content i mean it's the ideal american life for someone who's lazy hey you never have to work you don't ever have to even wake up. You can sit on your couch, eat some potatoes. You don't need to exercise. And your community will have your back. But what happens to this individual when magic gets you know, less popular or he becomes less popular uh, and that community no longer will support you? That's what I'm curious to learn. So magic for me, I still like the game. I play only with my friends. I don't play at pre-release anymore. I, I went to every pre-release for the longest time, from the longest time, for decades. I, for more than a decade, I went to pre-release. Every single one, no matter what was happening, I would make sure I had time for pre-release. And now I don't do that anymore. I still like love buying collections because I'm getting cards at like really su super cheap prices. And buy list, the best buy list in TCG player is what I buy cards at. But I no longer have the love of the game but I really love the drama. So people have accused me of that. I'm like, okay, so that's true. What What else? What else do you want? Um, because I want to see what happens to the Mana Source, to Larian Community College, to quit his part-time college job to do this after it fails. And a game will fail. No game will survive forever. Nothing survives forever. So we'll see. And that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the different psychologies of individual YouTube content creators and Magic the Gathering and for the drama.